Hello and welcome to Recap It. Today I'm going to tell you a story about a triumphant business tycoon. Implicated in a homicide and a professional in witness coaching are under the pressure of less than three hours to devise an unassailable legal defense. Let the movie begin. The movie begins with Virginia, a highly regarded lawyer arriving at Adrian's luxurious apartment in Barcelona. Adrian, a wealthy tech mogul, is facing a serious accusation of murdering his lover, Laura, at a remote hotel called Bella Vista. Initially hired as part of Adrian's defense team, Virginia shares with him that the prosecution has a witness against him. Realizing they have a mere three hours to prepare a counterstatement, Virginia implores Adrian to be honest with her. Adrian vehemently proclaims his innocence, claiming that he has been framed. He reveals that he and Laura were being blackmailed by an individual who had discovered their affair. The blackmailer demanded that they go to the hotel and bring 100,000 euros. While in their hotel room, Adrian receives a text from Laura's phone, but he recalls that she left her phone in the car. Realizing it to be a trap, they attempt to escape, but Adrian is struck on the head with a mirror, rendering him unconscious. Upon awakening, he discovers Laura's lifeless body on the floor. The police arrive promptly and arrest Adrian. Virginia interrogates Adrian about how the killer managed to enter the locked room. Adrian maintains his belief that he has been set up and questions the honesty of the police, suggesting they may be distorting the truth to make him appear guilty. Virginia presses Adrian for details of the events leading up to the murder. Adrian then delves into his past, recounting his affair with Laura, who was also married. They once visited a town called Beards and stayed in a cottage. The following morning, Adrian's wife called and he lied, claiming to be in Paris. While driving back to Barcelona, Adrian and Laura decided to end their affair, acknowledging the detrimental impact it was having on their respective spouses. During their conversation, a sudden deer crossing the road forced Adrian to swerve, causing a collision with another vehicle that subsequently crashed into a tree. Adrian and Laura emerged unharmed, but the driver of the other car, a young man named Daniel, tragically lost his life. Adrian expressed his intention to contact the authorities, but Laura persuaded him otherwise, insisting that they could ruin their lives if they reported the accident. Attempting to leave the scene, they discovered that their car refused to start. They suddenly hear the sound of an approaching car. In a hurry, they decide to act as if they were in a minor collision. The driver of the car stops to offer assistance, but then Daniel's phone begins to ring. Laura rushes to the car and hangs up, pretending it was the insurance company. The driver believes her story and leaves. Adrian and Laura then devise a plan to dispose of the car and the body. Laura remains with Adrian's car and signals a passerby for help. Meanwhile, Adrian drives Daniel's car, with Daniel's body in the trunk, to a nearby lake. He pushes the vehicle into the water and Laura picks him up. She proceeds to inform Adrian that she has fixed his car. Laura explains that while waiting for a tow truck, she encountered a mechanic named Thomas who lived in the vicinity. Thomas kindly offered his assistance, towing her car to his house and fixing it. During her visit, Laura discovers a photo of Thomas and Elvira's son, who turns out to be Daniel, the man they killed. Just as she is about to leave, Elvira calls Daniel's phone, which Laura had inadvertently taken. Realizing her mistake, Laura conceals the phone and departs. Days pass, and Adrian decides to sell his car to a junkyard, bidding farewell to Laura believing they will never cross paths again. However, his assumption is shattered when he receives a summons to the police station. Thomas had reported Adrian's license plate number to the authorities. Fortunately, Adrian's lawyer fabricates an alibi claiming he was in Paris and bribes the police to remove Adrian's name from Daniel's case. In a subsequent news report, it is revealed that Daniel had stolen money from the bank where he worked and staged his death as an escape plan. Adrian confronts Laura who admits to taking Daniel's wallet and hacking into her husband Bruno's laptop, an employee at the same bank, to transfer funds from Daniel's account to her own. Adrian tries to reason with Laura, explaining that what she did was wrong, but she threatens to implicate him should she be caught. Adrian's business had successfully expanded into the Asian market, earning him the prestigious Entrepreneur of the Year Award. Amidst his celebration, he encountered Thomas, who pretended to be a journalist. To Thomas's surprise, Adrian possessed the same lighter that he had seen in the car when he fixed it. Thomas confronted Adrian with intense emotion, demanding to know the whereabouts of Daniel's body. The situation quickly escalated, and the guard swiftly intervened, escorting Thomas away. A few days later, Adrian received a package from Daniel Garrido. 
Inside, he discovered a photograph of a serene lake and a note instructing him to bring Laura to Hotel Bella Vista along with 100,000 euros. Adrian deduced that the blackmailer, whom he believed to be the man who had passed by after the car crash, must have followed him to the lake where he disposed of Daniel's car. It seemed that the blackmailer sought the hefty sum to maintain silence. Virginia chastises Adrian for deviating from Daniel's narrative, suggesting that doing so might make him appear less culpable for Daniel's death, but more responsible for Laura's murder. She then poses three questions to Adrian, about the message on his phone, why the blackmailer left the money, and how he entered the hotel room without a key. Adrian is unable to provide any answers, prompting Virginia to provide her own. She theorizes that the message on Adrian's phone was likely from the blackmailer, who had Laura's phone. The blackmailer likely forced Laura to discard her phone before they took the train to the hotel. She also suggests that Adrian could tell the court that he recognized the blackmailer's face as Thomas, who had a strong motive for murder due to the loss of his son. She believes Thomas lost faith in the authorities, leaving him no choice but to make Adrian and Laura pay for their crime. Virginia concludes that Thomas's scheme to murder Laura and frame Adrian worked so flawlessly that everyone believes Adrian is the murderer. She advises Adrian that to clear his name of Laura's murder, he must incriminate Thomas while admitting his role in Daniel's demise. Adrian believes that confessing to his involvement in Daniel's death is pointless, without being able to explain how Thomas managed to escape from the room without leaving any evidence. Virginia suggests that Thomas's wife, Elvira, who worked at the Hotel Bella Vista, may have been his accomplice. She proposes that Elvira could have opened the windows in the room, allowing Thomas to escape and making Adrian the prime suspect in the murder. Thomas intentionally scattered money around the room to further incriminate Adrian. When the police arrived, Elvira secretly entered the room and closed the window to conceal Thomas's getaway. Virginia and Adrian continue their conversation when they receive information that the prosecution's witness is the driver who passed by Adrian and Laura after the accident. Adrian becomes anxious, but Virginia calms him down. She suggests an alternative scenario, where Adrian was in Paris, as per his alibi, and that Laura was solely responsible for Daniel's accident. Adrian was at the hotel only because Laura had asked for his help, making him one of Laura's victims. Virginia then proposes the idea of connecting Laura directly to Daniel's fate by planting something that belongs to Laura in Daniel's car. This way, they could claim that Laura acted alone. Adrian mentions that the witness can place him at the scene of the accident, and reveals that his lawyer wants to bribe the witness into silence. Virginia admits that she lied about the prosecution having a witness, and pressures Adrian to disclose the location where he disposed of Daniel's car. Eventually, Adrian confesses that Daniel was not dead, but unconscious, when he forced the car into the lake. Daniel woke up, but Adrian felt it was too late, and had no other choice but to push the car, ultimately causing Daniel's death by drowning. Virginia is outraged and overwhelmed by her emotions upon hearing this revelation. Virginia suggests that Adrian is manipulating the story to insinuate that Laura was the mastermind behind their deception. She informs Adrian that Laura's medical records reveal that she was suffering from anxiety attacks due to the guilt she felt. To restore her self-respect, Laura planned to confess her role in Daniel's demise to his parents and repay them for their grief. Laura set up a meeting with Daniel's parents at the Bella Vista Hotel, where Avira was employed. She tricked Adrian into thinking they were being blackmailed over their secret. She persuaded Adrian that the alleged blackmailer was the stranger they encountered after the accident, demanding payment. Laura awaited Adrian at the Bella Vista Hotel. Upon Adrian's arrival, Laura proposed they admit the truth about Daniel's death, reimburse his parents, and turn themselves into the authorities. When Adrian received Laura's message, he understood he had been duped. Adrian's sanity crumbled, leading him to murder Laura and inflict a head injury on himself with a mirror. When law enforcement arrived, he proclaimed his innocence even as he was being apprehended. Virginia argues that Adrian has the skill to manipulate the storyline and evade punishment for his actions. In the meantime, Thomas patiently bided his time, waiting for the perfect opportunity to take advantage of the situation. He moved into a vacant apartment opposite Adrian's building, from where he closely monitored all of Adrian's activities. He noticed that a lawyer had been hired, presumably by Virginia. Thomas tried to follow the lawyer's actions, but Virginia had already arranged surveillance to track Thomas's movements. Consequently, she is able to inform Adrian that Thomas is currently watching them from his vantage point. Virginia persists in pressuring Adrian until he finally confesses to murdering Laura. 
They take a brief 10-minute break, but Virginia abruptly leaves the apartment in a rush. Shortly after, Adrian receives a call from the lawyer who informs him that the supposed witness was actually the other driver involved in the accident. The lawyer assures Adrian that he has taken care of neutralizing the witness. During their conversation, they are interrupted by a series of high-pitched tones, indicating that their conversation is being recorded. Adrian realizes that the pen he used to mark the location of Daniel's car was the recording device. As Adrian reflects on the events of his meeting with Virginia, he realizes that she is not actually a lawyer, but an actress. Curiosity gets the better of him, and he peeks into the building across from his apartment, where he spots Virginia standing alongside Thomas. To his astonishment, Virginia reveals that she is actually Elvira disguised as Virginia. The movie concludes with the real Virginia appearing at Adrian's door, coinciding with Thomas calling the police to disclose the truth about the location of Daniel's body. And that's a wrap on our movie recap. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell to stay updated on all our future movie reviews. Thanks for watching, and until next time.